Hi guys, it's Sarah here and I thought I would share something I've had a fair few requests for recently and that's mine and the piggies early morning routine on a normal working day. So diving straight in, our routine starts at 7am which is probably the limit of how early I can bear to get up in the morning if I'm honest. The first thing I always do is to check on the pigs. So the pet room is only next door to my bedroom so it's really easy for me to just nip in, check how how everyone's doing. Hello Willow! <laughs> and Roxy is, yep, hiding underneath the hammock. And opening the curtains, it's not actually light out yet. It's winter here in the UK so the sun rises late and sets early. Next up is a new thing I've been doing lately and that is a spot of yoga. It's January so I'm trying my best to follow Adrienne's latest 30 day challenge. Drop me a comment below if you're also doing this and good luck! Once I've done with yoga, the sun is starting to rise so I have a shower, get dressed and then it's time for the first guinea pig job of the day. And that job is sweeping up the fleece. I usually have a bag for the pig's waste that lasts me a couple of days and of course they're squeaking at me rustling it. So me sweeping up their poops is their cue to wake up and get moving. They'll jump in the hay box or help themselves to some pellets for breakfast or in Willow's case she will eventually move with a bit of light persuasion. To make this job easier I'll tip the cage pads and beds and things right into the bin bag and top tip if you have fleece pads brush the hay and hair off with your sweeping brush it gets them looking nice and clean quickly. I put things back or rearrange as I go and if there is any pads which look a bit manky then I replace them. I put the dirty pads and fleece liners inside pillowcases when it comes to washing them. That way your machine stays free of too much hair and hay and I just put a nice clean replacement pad down in its place. I think they approve. <laughs> So everything goes back and the cage is looking much tidier. The pigs usually do a bit of exploring and sniffing about at this point. Hmm, wonderful. There's a poop appeared already. How long was that? The second job of the morning is to top up the hay and this is my dust free meadow hay and it's really compressed so it takes a bit of getting out of the bag especially with one hand. <laughs> At this point I always think to myself why didn't I do the hay first before sweeping? But the pigs love fresh hay in the morning and one of them usually dives right into a big heap of it. That's not it for the hay though. <laughs> this is my other hay which looks really different and much greener. This is some yummy Timothy hay which if you're in the UK like me is a bit more expensive but because the piggies love it so much I still feed them some every day. And these old hay roll treats are great for stuffing full of hay and give the piggies a bit more of a challenge to get their favourite bits out. And Phoebe is straight in there. <laughs> if you haven't tried Timothy hay yet then I really recommend it. Hay is the most important part of a guinea pig's diet so I tried to encourage mine to eat as much as possible. There's a link in the description below where you can see all the foods and other products that I use for my piggies if you're interested. After the hay I check out the status of the food bowl and water bottles. This morning the water definitely needed changing so I'm going to give the bottles a clean whilst I'm at it. I clean out the bottles with a brush and yes I have seen the hack where you can put dry rice into a bottle and shake it but if I'm honest once I invested in a brush this way is a lot quicker and so much easier. The bottles just slot back in, they attach to the side of the cage with some metal hooks and their original fixings. Phoebe is a sideways kind of slightly upside down drinker. I always think it's super cute the way each piggy has their own way of tackling the water bottle. So here's some zoomed in piggy drinking for your entertainment. 
And in the time I was doing the water, they've demolished that Timothy Hay and chewed off all the ends poking out of the wood rolls. With those early morning jobs done, I can leave the piggies for an hour or so and start work. Like a lot of people out there, I'm working from home at the moment, so I head downstairs where it's very dark. Working from home means I can spread out my routine a bit more, so don't go anywhere, we're not quite done yet. I'd done some laundry for the piggies last night, so whilst my laptop's loading up, I take the opportunity to put the liner, pads and beds on the heater to dry. So here's those pillowcases in action again. And yeah, sorry about the camera here. I had no idea the table was blocking half the view. In my defense, it wasn't that long after I'd just woken up. And here's my bizarre setup for drying laundry when you've run out of heater space. So I'll generally do maybe an hour or an hour and a half of work whilst trying to avoid the temptation of the Christmas chocolates that we somehow decided to put in plain view on the dining room table. A top tip for anyone thinking about changing up their guinea pig care routines, especially if you've got quite a few piggies, is to always do some daily tasks in the morning, then they are just done and out of the way. Especially anything that might be forgotten about or that your piggies are really going to appreciate. One thing for me is the water bottles. If they've still got water in, I'm sometimes lazy and don't change them, but then the piggies don't get fresh water. And when I see one of the bottles has gotten to be empty, then I feel really bad. So yeah, have short, easy to do tasks in the morning that might otherwise be forgotten and that are easy enough to do even when you're still groggy from just getting up. Okay, back to the routine. After a productive hour and a half, I find the time to make some breakfast for myself and some fresh food for the piggies. For the pigs, I'm just doing a small snack of some cucumber and a bit of banana, which I'm sharing with them. So we'll go ahead, take this upstairs and see what they've been up to. Which clearly is making a huge mess with the rest of the Timothy Hay, and several more poops have also appeared. <laughs> Once I see mess, I can't help myself, so I go ahead and do a really quick sweep and tidy up whilst the piggies get very excited at the prospect of food. Yes, can you smell something yummy? <laughs> The hammock also makes an excellent miniature table for snacks. First up, the banana. Everyone really seems to like banana, but only in small amounts. Like any fruits, don't feed it too often, but every now and again is okay. And it's kind of funny to watch them eat banana too, as demonstrated by a slow motion Phoebe. Okay, so they worked out there was more food on the hammock. <laughs> and Lyra chucks cucumber everywhere. <laughs> There's Roxy stealing one too. Cucumber, of course, always goes down a treat and everyone enjoys it and gets rather protective over it too. <laughs> So after tending to the spoilt piggies, I grab some breakfast of my own. I have a bit of a crumpet obsession at the moment, so yep, that's happening. I make myself some coffee and I hate to break it to you if you're a Marmite hater. But yeah, I love the stuff. <laughs> let me know if you enjoyed this morning routine, guys, and let me know if you're also partial to a bit of Marmite yourself. <laughs> If you enjoyed this and want to see a whole daily routine video, then click on the top one. Or if you want to see my two newest piggies growing up, then go for that bottom one. Thank you everyone for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!